companies pretend to do good while at the same time the bulk of their business or operations is not good not doing good at all so you're giving a misleading signal to the market and again i think that is for, for us something what, what we really try to to filter out that is i think one of the usps which we are giving to investors and how do we do that we don't look only at the green projects which are being financed but also taking consideration the broader strategy or the broad direction of the company. I think that's really crucial to avoid greenwashing. When a new green bond is being issued and we see it from day one that it's not meeting our standards, we flag it as non-green and we are not allowed to buy it. Sometimes it also happens that we have a bond in our portfolio uh, which finances nice windmills, but the company suddenly starts to do something non-green something very dirty. That can happen. If you enjoyed this podcast, please do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe to receive future episodes. You can find more interviews, articles, and information on sustainable and responsible investing at our website, SRI360.com. If you enjoyed this interview and you would like to read more lessons learned from world-class SRI investors, get yourself a copy of my book, Sustainable and Responsible Investing 360 Degrees. It's a must read for anyone wanting to know more about investing for positive social, environmental, and ethical impact, all with market returns. These are the stories and tactics of those leading the way as sustainable and responsible investing goes mainstream. Sustainable and Responsible Investing 360 Degrees is now available in hardcover, ebook, and audiobook format wherever books are sold.